Hello everyone. In today's video, we are going to talk about Guacamole Remote Access Gateway Tutorial How to Remote Access to Any Server. Myself, Mohammed Zubair, and this channel is all about showing you how to become a highly paid IT pro really fast. So, without any further ado, let's get started. Well, for my Guacamole, I'm going to use Ubuntu 22.10 and I'll install that one into this Linux distribution and then I'll show you that how we can access a particular server. The first step is to install or prepare our server. Well, Guacamole has a lot of dependencies and we have to deal with most of them in this particular step. So first of all, what we are going to do, we are going to install all the dependencies that the Guacamole server will require. So I'll just paste the command you can follow and you can get all those commands from the description of this video. So I'll just paste the command in here and I'll hit enter. After that, I'll give it my password. Here it will take a little bit of time as you can see. So let's wait for it and then we'll move ahead. We are done here and now we need to install our DP. So again, I'll just paste the command in here and I'll hit enter. After we are done with this step, we have to update our system so that the changes can take place permanently. So let's wait for the process to get complete and then we'll move ahead. We are done and now let's update our Ubuntu. So the command for that is sudo apt update and hit enter. Now we are done here and this command that we used before the updating of our system, basically this command added the repository for our RDP. Make sure to add your repository and after that you will be able to install your RDP. Now I'll just paste the command to install RDP and I'll paste this command in the description as well. Again, it will take a little bit of time. So let's wait for it. And we are almost done here. And now it's time to get open SSL for our Guacamole. So I'll paste the command. I'll hit enter. It will download the open SSL from this particular link. So it will take a little bit of time. We are done here. And now we'll unzip this particular file that we have downloaded. After that, I'll hit enter and now we'll go to our directory where we have our open SSL file, which is this one, hit enter. And from here, we'll run our file, which is config. I'll hit enter. Okay, here it says permission denied. Do not worry, use the same command, but this time use sudo along with it as it will give it administrative privileges, hit enter. And as you can see, it says open SSL has been successfully configured. And now to make its configuration, just write here make and hit enter. Okay, here it says permission denied. We'll use sudo along with it. And now hit enter. As you can see, it has started the process. It means it is working. We are done here. And now I'll write sudo space make space install. And after that, just hit enter. We are done here. And now we need to copy our open SSL directory. So I'll again put the command and this is the directory where I'm copying it. After that, just hit enter. And after that, we need to configure it. So I'll write here sudo ld config and hit enter. And at the end, let's check the version of OpenSSL and let's see if we have successfully installed it or not. Command for that is open SSL space version and just hit enter. So we have successfully installed version 1.1.1. Now I'll go back and let me clear my terminal. And now we need to install Apache Tomcat. But before that, there is a prerequisite and that is Java JDK. So first of all, we need to install Java JDK and then we'll install Tomcat. So I'll just paste the command. I'll hit enter and it will take around 444 megabyte of my additional disk space. So obviously it will take a little bit of time. So let's wait for the process to get complete and then we'll move ahead. We are done here with the installation of our Java JDK and now we need to create our Tomcat user. So for that purpose, again, I'll right click here and I'll paste the command, hit enter. I'll give it my password, hit enter once again. We are done with the user creation. And before we move ahead here, we have to declare a variable into our system. You can name your variable anything. I'll name it as VER equals, and here we have to assign it value. So I'll assign the value as 9.0.69. And after that, hit enter. Okay, here we have a problem and that is we have to remove the spaces because we have to keep in mind indentation. Hit enter now, we are good to go. I'll clear my terminal and now we need to fetch our Tomcat. 
so for that purpose what i'll do i'll again paste the command into my terminal and i'll move ahead so as you can see it will download apache tomcat from the repository hit enter and it will take a little bit of time as you can see in here we are done here and now we need to create a directory in our system after that we need to extract this file that we have just downloaded from the official repository so i'll just use the command in here hit enter after we are done with this step now we need to move the file that we have just extracted again i'll use the command hit enter we are done here let me clear my terminal and here we need to change the permissions for the user that we have created in our system so i'll write here ch on space hyphen capital r tomcat and this is the directory hit enter and now we need to make all the scripts executable in the directory and the directory is opt slash tomcat slash tomcat app slash bin after that hit enter here if you see here we have added plus x it means execution permissions now we need to open a file and we'll configure that particular file so i'll paste the command and here instead of using vim i'll use nano so i'll just remove vim from here and i'll write here nano hit enter and here i'll add some of the lines that you can find in the description of this video after that just press ctrl x press y to save the changes and hit enter to get out of it let me clear my terminal and we are good to go and now we need to reload our daemon service so the command for that is sudo systemctl space daemon hyphen reload hit enter we are done here with this one as well after that we need to enable our tomcat so i'll just paste the command hit enter and we have successfully enabled our tomcat before we move ahead let's check the status of tomcat if it is working or not so i'll write here system ctl space status space tomcat and i'll hit enter here you can see tomcat is up and running i'll just get out of this so i'll press ctrl c clear my terminal and let's move on to the next one and now we need to allow a port number into our firewall so that we can access it and the command for that is sudo space ufw that stands for ubuntu firewall then allow give it a space 8080 which is the port number and down here i'll write here tcp hit enter rules have been added successfully we are done with everything and all the prerequisites and now we need to build our server for our guacamole so for that purpose i'll just paste the command in here and it will download my guacamole from the official repository hit enter it will take a little bit of time we are done here and now let's extract this one hit enter let's go to its directory and here we need to execute the configuration script so i'll just write the command and i'll hit enter it will execute our script for our guacamole server we are done here and here i'll write make hit enter it will take again a little bit of time and here i'll write now sudo make install after that we just need to hit enter and just wait for the process to get complete we are done here with this one as well and to finish everything here we have to run ld config command so that we can create the necessary links and to cache to the most recent shared libraries that we can found in the guacamole server directory so for that i'll just write here sudo space ld config and after that i'll just need to hit enter and now we need to restart our daemon so for that the command is sudo space system ctl space daemon after that hyphen reload and hit enter we are done here and now we need to enable and start our guac cd service or basically guacamole cd service so for that purpose the command is sudo space system ctl give it a space and right here start space guacd which is gua cd and hit enter we'll use the same command and this time instead of writing here start i'll just write here enable and i'll hit enter once again and the service is up and running let me clear my terminal hit enter now it's time to install the web application for our guacamole i'll just clear my terminal so for that purpose first of all i'll create a directory in my etsy folder i'll hit enter i'll fetch the application from the official repository and now we need to move it and i'll move it to the directory that i have created into my system if you remember and in order to install the gokomoli client binary we have to create a symbolic link of the gokomoli client to tomcat web apps so for that i'll again paste the command and i'll put this command in the description of this video as well 
we are done here that was needed to be done for our guacamole web application and now we need to configure our guacamole server so for that purpose we need to use some of the commands and again i'll put the command in the description so i'll just paste the command in here first of all i'll echo a particular variables i'll do one more and again i'll hit enter and now we need to create a file in our system so i'll just paste the command and instead of using vim i'll use nano one more time so i'll just remove vim i'll write here a nano and i'll create a file in this directory which is etsy slash guacamole slash guacamole dot properties and hit enter and in this particular file we need to add some of the line of codes i'll put these configuration lines in my description as well so do not worry and after that i'll press ctrl x press y to save the changes and hit enter to get out and after that we have to link our guacamole with our tomcat so for that purpose we need to run a command i'll paste the command i'll hit enter after that i'll change its ownership so i'll write here sudo space ch on space hyphen capital r give it a space write here tomcat colon space slash opt which is a directory slash tomcat after that hit enter we are done here and now we need to set up our guacamole authentication method so that only authenticated users are able to access our guacamole and no other one will be able to access it so let me clear my terminal first so first of all let's have a password and i'll have md5 criteria so i'll write here echo space hyphen n space here you need to write your password and it can be anything i'll write here a b c d e f let's have five digits and after that i'll write here at the rate of and then i'll have my dollar sign and here i'll write open ssl md5 hit enter okay it will give you or it will show you this kind of output Make sure to copy this one because we need to paste it somewhere. Now, what we need to do, we need to open a file. So I'll write here sudo space nano slash etsy slash guacamole slash user hyphen mapping dot xml. Basically, this is a file that we are creating. And in this file, we'll have our authorization criteria. So this is the file and we'll add some of the configuration lines in here. So this is the configuration that we need to make for the authorization. First of all, here we have the authorization for our user. Username is alpha. And if you remember, I told you that we need to copy the value when we were having our password. So enter the password in here, encoding is MD5. And down here we have our SSH. This is the configuration for our SSH. And down here we have for our RDP. This is the host name of my RDP. This is the port number. This is the username. And this is the password for my RDP connection. So make sure what you need to do in your system. In my case, this was the configuration. And now we need to restart our Tomcat GUACD. So I'll write here sudo space systemctl space restart. Give it a space and write here Tomcat. Again, give it a space and GUACD. You can restart both of them individually or you can do that together as well. I'm going to restart both of them together. So I'll just hit enter and we are good to go and now it's time to access the web interface of our guacamole and to access the guacamole web service or web interface we need to have our ip address so i'll write here if config and after that i'll hit enter so this is my ip address which is 192.168.209.134 so we'll use the same ip address onto our web browser let me copy that one and i'll just paste it in here and after that we need to use a port number and for that we use 8080 and then give it a slash and write here guacamole and hit enter and here we need to write here username and password so i'll write here my username and i'll have my password and here you can see we have successfully opened the web interface of our guacamole and now in order to connect our remote server i'll just click on this one and here you can see we have successfully accessed our ssh and now let's try to access our RDP. And if you remember, when we were configuring it, we named it as SBT. So I'll just click on it and we'll see if we can access it or not. And here you can see we have successfully accessed our Windows Server. And from here, you can do anything that you want to do with your Windows Server services. And now at the end, I'll go back to my file that I configured earlier. So this is the file. 
This section is for SSL and if I scroll down, this particular section is for RDP. So basically, in this particular file, you can add as many services as per your liking in order to access them remotely. And not only that, you can create as many users for your authorization as well. In my case, I have only created one. So it's all up to you that how much services and how much user you want to have in your Guacamole. And that was all about it. And that also brings me to the end of today's video. I hope now that now you know that how you can remotely access your server through your Guacamole. And if that is the case, please leave a like, subscribe and press the bell icon. I'll get back to you in the next video. Till then, take care.